TCG and today is Friday and this will be my second actual video on TCG my first one I posted was a tutorial video so I will not count that as a gameplay video and so as you see I've not even created my day read it yet because I want to do that on camera and so there will be no video tomorrow but Sunday there should be a video of real life car opening if not I'll try to do a special video on that TCG for that if I can't do it and today's Davy is the ticket and in 10 minutes I can actually claim a card back so that's good <laughs> I don't know how long the video is but I, mean I can claim the daily also I set up a trade off camera a little while ago and I got a notification earlier before I was able to claim a daily saying it had been accepted and so if it lags a little bit my computer has been a little laggy on it lately but I got three forbidden night packs to open up today I uh, like to open it up pack number one a fighting type energy and the red in the pack is Malmol now personally I've read his ability which is psychic recharge which states once during your turn before you attack you may attach a psychic energy from your discard powder on your bench Pokemon and psychic spear and personally I see a lot of people wanting this guy for several card packs but don't really see what's so good about this. So if y'all guys could like leave a comment down below saying just what's so good about him, that'd be really nice. Alright, going on to the pack number two. And this time a steel type energy. Ooh, and double, and this is a Emporion with us all, and the red in the pack is Quartzer. Ah, we got Quantra and Quartzer. That's cool. Alright, moving on to the third and final pack. Pack well for now. I might get another pack ready in the video. I don't know. It's a dark type energy. Again, double. We also got a cool Zygarde. Noivern. <coughs> no about Noivern. I always like gonna get evolutions. Yeah, let's keep up. We got Zygarde. I'm a big fan of Zygarde. And the red in the pack is a another Sylveon. I cannot tell you how many Sylveons I get. Yeah, I, I got four. I got four from Forbidden Light packs. It's 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 kind of annoying at times. <laughs> But it's still pretty good. Um, also, uh, let's see, go to deck manager. And if you watched last video, you'll see that um, I used uh, my YouTube deck one, which I want to edit because it's pretty good. But I thought of a few cards that might help. Let's see, what was some of the cards? I kinda already forgot. <laughs> see, town map was on, I think. I think I wanted town map, which turned all my prize cards face up. Now for this, I guess I'll get rid of... the skateboard. We'll just see about this. Just add town map and just see how things look. Because town map lets you see a top 60 deck. And... In the description, I'll probably put a poll about what we should call this deck. And now we'll go to versus and do the first match of the day. As you see, uh, as you see, I've still not gotten that Megos GX because I've not been playing too much off camera, just a few trades, open a few packs, and I think. I think maybe next um, on a TCG video, which will be coming out Monday. I think I might might make a um, new deck, a new YouTube deck to come with this one. Cause I basically almost always make a fighting deck, so I think I might step out of my comfort zone and make maybe a. You know, I'll put two polls in the description. One poll will be asking what we should call the deck, and the other poll will be asking what element the new deck should be and the two most voted elements will be the two I will build a deck of. Oh not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's see Hmm. Okay, I think Buzzwell might be my switcher Pokemon. Because I have my ninja boy, a double energy and electric energy, so I can put energy on Buzzwell and actually switch Buzzle for Jolteon EX. And for those of you who have not seen my videos, please feel free to subscribe. That, and now getting that out of the way, <laughs> I have a Jolteon EX in the deck, which states that I can block 
all damage done to my Jolteon by basic Pokemon. And he's got an Alakazam EX basic and a Mewtwo EX basic. Which means I can knock I can no, I can't take damage from any of this. But if he Mega Evolves it, then yeah, I might definitely take some damage because I can take the damage. Once turn okay, we see he went prayed Mount Cornet. Once during either prayer, each prayer, so in that prayer, may put two steel type energy from the discard to your hand. I don't have a steel deck. Oh, wait, I already attached that. <laughs> okay, double energy on the buzz world. Tapu on the field. I don't want to move any electric energy to Tapu Coco. And I could go ahead and ninja boy him, but I want to wait. And so I could put an energy on Pikachu, then I'll switch Pikachu up for buzz roll and put buzz roll there. And then I'll pe uh, use Ninja Boy and switch him out. Oh, that how? <laughs> but not today. Okay. Fight Ninja on Pikachu. And now I will retreat little Pikachu. And snap Buzz Roll. And hopefully I fought this through because sometimes I'll forget there's like a rule, some rule or something I forgot about the card. Which messes up my strategy. <laughs> But not today, thankfully. And now I'll be sending out Jotian EX. And now I can hit him with Flash Ray, which does 70 damage. And it states during my opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks and basic Pokemon. I can still take effects like confusion and stuff. But I cannot get hit with actual attacks. So. Which is good. And I got energy I can build a type of Coco. I also got how it's let me draw three cards. Ooh, Zygarde, another Jochan, and another Cynthia. I'll definitely put Zygarde down and after Topic Coco I'll try to build him up. I'll flash for him again. And next turn I should be able to knock out his Mewtwo. As long as he doesn't mega his Alkazan, I should be fine. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I had to open my mouth and say something. <laughs> Ooh, and he's hitting on Zygood. Yeah. Definitely a good type of Coco. 30 damage for each damage counter your opponent out of Pokemon. And 210 health. Ah! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> it's not awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my Cynthia. Just so I can maybe draw something good. I still have C15 that. Like, oh, that's one thing I needed to add was, um, was a VS Seeker, because I used Sensei deck, so, okay, let's just, okay, actually, let me hit him with Flash Ray, no, I can ask me two, and let me draw two prize cards, and I can actually see my prize cards at the time map. Ooh, I'll take Question Hammer, and Bridget. I also see if I have Gladian. And for those of y'all who don't know what VS Seeker do, it does. VS Seeker lets me take a supporter card from my discard pile and add it to my hand. And VS Seeker is actually an item, so that's pretty good. And that does. Wait, 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 whoa. Oh, 30 damage for each damage counter. Yeah, your attacks are gonna do a little weaker, my friend. Um, okay. Tapu Koko is full built up. I could stop building up Zygarde next. Okay, I'm going to use Crushing Hammer. Ah, I couldn't get rid of it. That's fine. Wait, what's the protocol did I use? Oh, I, I used the uh, Pokemon Cinerate. Which I uh, think, well, still my thing to get my Pokemon still get knocked out, but I can do some damage. Then Tapu Koko will come out and warp him good. <laughs> but, um, also, Gladian. Gradient will let you sit. Okay, so basically you can get your prize cards, and Gradient and Town Map does really good together. Town Map lets you see your prize cards, and you can use Gradient, and you can you can take one of your prize cards and replace it with Gradient. So you still keep the prize card down, but it does that. Okay, so I want to attach this top Coco. Um, ah, yeah. I think my shoe's gonna do Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock's pretty strong. I definitely use that. Now, I could actually save Jolteon, because I have Ossia, no, Ossia, 
and she lets me put one of my Pokemon that has Indian Shackles on it and all cards that shit into my hand. And then I can go ahead and switch up for Top of Coco. And so Joe Chan's just fine, I got all his energy. I can put Top of Coco out. He takes no prize cards. I can put Joe Chan back on the field and go ahead and attach more energy to him. Boom. Now I can go ahead and hit him Sky High Cross, which should knock him out, actually. Hopefully. Yep. I'll take this, this, actually doing pretty good, and if you didn't see the last video, well, I lost both rounds and had a streak of bad luck, but it looks like it, it might, might be turning around, I can't say anything good yet until actu I actually know, because, uh, usually if I get too cocky, that's when bad things happen. Yep, and he's going to hit me with core control. Which is going to... Oh, steal an energy. <laughs> yeah, Jotia. I'm going to put in your new friend. I can... I can... I can... Hit him 450 damage. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use Top with Thunder GX and hit him with 106 damage. I forgot because I was fighting Philly Belt. Okay, so he... He's a 20 more damage chance in my world, so that's... Um, that's a bit of damage. So Top of Coco can knock him out. And uh, Jotian's all built up. Oh. Oh, that's embarrassing. <coughs> but he gave up anyway. <laughs> I put the wrong f energy on Jotian. I put fighting, but it doesn't really matter now because he, he, he gave up. So that's uh, that's something. Mystery box reward. Pretty good. 50 tokens. Nice. Nice, nice. Pretty good. Okay, that's one of the things I wanted to do was... um. Go edit deck see if I can add a Gradient and any um, VS Seekers. How much longer? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I saw that earlier. Okay, it said 10 minutes. I was like, okay. <sighs> Fine. That's how it wants to be. That's I guess that's just how it wants to be today. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's edit this and. Let's see, trainer. I don't know if I have a good idea. And I, I, I don't know actually. I should have a VS Seeker though. Yeah, I got no Guardian. VS Seeker, perhaps? VS, maybe V? I don't. Okay. Okay. That's, that's 25. Alright. We'll do one more battle because each of these game previews tend to be about two battles long. And that usually comes around to about 20 minutes, which is a, I think, a decent time. But oh, we got the advantage. He's got a pure water deck. Um, wait, what's this guy's username? A Sangario coin. Uh, I think I battle this guy. I don't know if I battle him on camera or if I battle him off camera, but I think I battle this guy before. Uh, I don't know, but I did pull Jotian, which is my only basic Pokemon, which means Jotian will have to take, probably take a little bit of damage. Hmm, that's fun, but I do have big Molas big Molasida and Fighting Fairy Belt, so that's pretty, pretty good. And Jotian should be able to hold off on its own a little bit. Let's see. Oh, Greninja, yeah, yeah, is this, uh, is this gonna be a break card? Is this gonna be a Greninja break or Greninja GX? Cause, uh, I've not had a good experience with, uh, <laughs> a Froki. Mainly cause I did a battle, and I still see can't remember if this is on camera or off camera, but I did a world battle, and this guy had a Froki, I'm like, ah, oh, this guy, I've been battling this guy for a while, and he's got no, like, he's got no EXs or GXs. Huh. I was like laughing my boy off, like, this is actually pretty good. Somehow he's still whooping me though. And I'm like, good battle, good battle. I hadn't seen the worst to come. He used Greninja GX and Greninja Break. Yeah, safe to say I lost that battle. <laughs> but this time, I might win. Even, though, even if this isn't the guy I battled, I might win. Oh, oh I'm thinking this guy I battled. <sighs> Sometimes this happens to me. I battle the same people. About the same people I battled before, and whenever I do, it's always a person who defeated me in the past. 
And if you wonder how it does 220 damage, you can think Gale Shoot Game. When you play this Pokemon to from your hand to evolve in your Pokemon during your turn, you may put two damage handles on your Pokemon. And you just attach double energy. I think he's got a Greninja GX or a Greninja Break. Now I can go ahead and use Big Molasada and heal 20 more damage. And go ahead and put another energy on Jolteon. Which means if I can survive one turn, I can add more. But I still cannot be protected from Frogadier. Which is not that good. And he's got Professor's Red. He's gonna he's gonna get some more energy. And the thing about a Greninja, which the guy used on me before, which I seriously think it's this guy. Um his ability is like um Every time he discards a water energy, he does damage to Yes Ninja GX <laughs> Oh this is saying guy I had battle before. Oh man, this is a uh, this isn't fun. Actually it still is I guess, but not if I lose. Well I guess if I still lose it still is fun because I had a good battle, but it's not fun having my Jolteon right though. Jolteon's one of my favorite EXs. But I did just knock out his kill yo. <laughs> That's something. And I control one Pascal, please be a Pokemon. Uh huh. So if he can just knock out one my one Jolteon, I'm uh, I'm finished. <laughs> oh man, this is uh I think my luck kinda won out. I think I used all my luck in the last battle. <laughs> but every time I went into a person I've already battled before in Pokemon on TCG, it's always a person who has beat me. It's usually a person with a night march deck. And for those of y'all who don't know about night march deck, it involves you sacrificing over half your deck. Yeah, it's not a deck I would use. Mm, I think I do have a few Night March cards on here. I could probably try, but I don't want to because you have to sacrifice like over half your deck. And once a guy was battling me in a, with a Night March deck in a tournament, he just he had he just he just gave up because um he had no chance at all because uh he was he was like one card away from losing. So he just gave up because if he because if you win on cards, you lose. Seriously, ba, ba, ba. two house, two Cynthia's, I wish you had, and double cause injury. <sighs> my luck <laughs> is so flip flop. It's such a my luck is such a it's like a light switch. You sometimes it gets switched on, sometimes it gets switched off. <sighs> and you just hear sixty damage. Oh wow. Yep, but no, it's over. Thanks for making it fast. Sometimes I hate it when a person just like um drags about on own, even though like they can hit you one hit and kill you. And they just like attach energy, do trainers, like have a full strategy all planned out, and just like flick you and you just knock you out. Man, I'm like, <sighs> now really, was there any point to that? Yeah, it just it just annoys me. That's why I try to finish my points off fast. Unless they were being slow and tedious, and they were seriously agonizing me. And that's one thing, um, one person I was battering, uh, yeah, I was battering him, and, um, so he could have killed me in one hit, he could have finished me off. He didn't, he gave me one turn, and I just, I was like, dude, that was your worst mistake ever. I beat him. <laughs> I can't count the many times somebody's gave me an extra turn. Sometimes I lose still, sometimes I win. <laughs> but, but, never give me a free turn of not, not wiping me out. Because I will usually find a way to come back and whoop you. Yeah. Or oh, I'll get whooped. Either way. <laughs> but that's been today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep an eye out for Sunday's video. And like I said, in the description box, I have two polls. One poll um, will be for choosing what a name for my first deck, which is a Fighting and Thunder deck, what it should be called. And the second poll will be about what two types I should make my ne next deck of. Well, until next time, guys. Goodbye.